Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. Welcome to the Volkswagen ID3 and welcome to Munich, Germany. Today we are doing a DC fast charging test of the Volkswagen ID3. This is the mid spec battery. This is a battery that sounds like it'll be coming to the US soon in the ID4, of course, and very unfortunately we don't get the ID3 yet. But what we're going to do is a 0 to 100% DC fast charging test of this ID3. Now, if you haven't heard yet, we are in Europe for most of September testing EVs that don't come our way. Take a look at this Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo right over here. It sounds like we'll be able to have some serious fun in one of these in just a few days. You can see an e-tron charging over here, and these are the CCS chargers, and then over here are the Tesla superchargers, of course. Uh, no Chatamo can be found here. CCS is the German standard, so pretty rare to find find a Chatamo charging station around. It's loud, it's noisy. This is a truck stop here, just north of Munich, between Munich and Ingolstadt. We went to BMW's headquarters today and Audi's headquarters today. So it's just been car heaven for us. The ID3 has been DC fast charged twice today. So the battery's at a good temperature. We just shredded it down the Autobahn and then let it cool for a little bit. We are now officially at 0% and zero miles. So time in, if you could shut off climate control uh, as we're sort of cameraing up the vehicle and we are gonna turn the lights. So top left-hand corner, well, you'll see a little power button there, time in. Uh, top left hand corner of the screen there you go and then we're going to go here for the lights and we're going to go lights off so now the car is not pulling any power whatsoever we are going to get the charger lined up we're going to monitor the dc charging screen mainly here it's a 320 kilowatt fsec unit it should pump all the power we need and i misspoke earlier there is a chatamo plug here excuse me i didn't see that um all the other ones though are CCS. So hopefully a leaf doesn't pull up. Uh, we can actually charge two at one on this particular station, but since the e-tron's pulling 150 kilowatts, we won't be able to get 150 as well. At least I believe that's how that works. Anyway, let's plug in the ID3 now, starting at 0%, charging it full. We'll have a review of this car, so we're not really gonna be talking about the car, just this battery pack, the 62 kilowatt hour gross, I think 57 or 58 kilowatt hour usable. Uh, again, a pack that should be coming to the US in ID4, and if we beg and plead hard enough, we should see the ID3 in the US at some point. At least one can hope. Let me get my charging station activated here. We'll plug in and get this thing charging all the way. So we did our best to make sure we have a warm but not too hot battery pack. Um, we actually stopped here, made sure this charging station worked, that one over there with our card. As an American, it's pretty difficult to get all the apps needed and everything. Actually, plug surfing app isn't even available on the American App Store. I go into why I couldn't actually get German apps on my phone. It won't let me switch countries, so we might just buy another phone to have the German app store. Anyway, our colleagues at Inside EVs Germany gave us this plug surfing card that kind of works everywhere. So let's see how we activate this one. This is FSX, so I guess I'm just going to tap. Okay, I don't know what any of this means. We want CCS, check mark looks good. Yes, I don't know what any of this means. I'm just gonna plug in. <laughs> so we'll take the CCS plug, I'll come around back. Perhaps we parked in the wrong parking spot for this, but it should reach, yes it does, just barely. Okay, come on, in we go. Type two, there's no latch, no connector. And so we're plugged in. Let's take a look at what this screen says. It says something, CCS, 18, 0%. That's good, it means it's communicated. Things are clicking. We're recording, we're charging. I've actually moved over to this Alego station. We're gonna plug in here. I've activated it with plug surfing. Let me use, this one's fine, I guess. Feels a little warm, but that's probably because the e-tron was charging. In we go. And I guess we select CCS, 150 kilowatts. Hypercharging, awesome. We got the GoPro recording the charging session. We're gonna change the country to English. 
now we can understand what the hell it's doing and contactors just clicked charging is started very nice look at this already up 45 plus kilowatts as it should be oh man ripping zero percent state of charge north of 100 kilowatts right off the bat on the small battery that's impressive let's see how this thing does our smart car gets absolutely destroyed hauling our dogs around the city and a big thanks to ev wash a really cool sustainable car care company that makes these glass bottles that are filled with organic cleaning materials take a look at this the nice thing about ev wash is your kit comes in a really nice carrying case it's small compact but more importantly it's sustainable so when you run out of juice inside your glass container you go on you purchase one of these very inexpensive refill biodegradable paper packs fill back up your solution and and then you don't have to keep buying bottles every time you run out of car cleaning supplies. Really awesome. Out of spec 30 is our code. Use it at the link in the description. You'll get 30% off your order. So now it's time to analyze the charging curve of the mid pack ID three. This is an interesting pack. Uh, I believe it's gotten some updates over time. This is the newest update. And in speaking with some owners here in Europe, it sounds like this is the first zero to 100% or 10 to 90 or 10 to 80% charging curve uh, that anyone's done with this particular battery pack. So everything, conditions are good. It's got the newest software on there. It literally was updated like a day before I got it. So this is, you know, the last day of August, 2021. Uh, we filmed this in early September. So let's hit start charging now and see how it does. So 0% plugging in right up to 110 kilowatts. <laughs> the ID4 with the big battery is the same way. You can also get the big battery in the ID3 up to 130 kilowatts here at 7%. So we're dumping 312 amps into this thing. That's a lot of power going into this, more than EQC, more than a lot of cars with way bigger batteries. So this is pretty impressive. I believe the peak rated speed is only 110 kilowatts, 120, something like this, but it's delivering 130 plus. Plus. Now keep in mind, this is charging power delivered, not going into the battery pack, but there's always a few percent of loss. Uh, I don't expect that much. You can see we're tapering down now at 26%. We're down into the low 100 kilowatt range. So if you are road tripping this car, instantly it's apparent that you want to pull in with as low state of charge as possible and ride that fast charging curve. Now we're down 94, 95 kilowatts at 35%. This is where it's a little bit less impressive. Anything under 100 kilowatts on sort of a long distance car or medium distance car like this mid-pack ID3, I think is pretty poor in this middle section. They really need to beef up this charging curve. You can see pack voltage is really high. We started around 400 volts dead and we are increasing now. This is a really good sign because it shows they didn't just remove uh, cells. They actually rewired the way the battery is. Some battery packs, the smaller versions have lower pack voltage. For example, Model S 75 is a 350 volt pack versus Model S 100, which is, or 90 or 100, which is a 400 volt pack sort of on low state of charge. Now we're down 50% and we've been charging for about 20 minutes. Uh, so 50% actually arrived in the high teens, zero to 50 in less than 20 minutes is really good actually. Uh, and we're just maintaining this 63 kilowatts. Now here at 60% to get 60 kilowatts, that's sort of the bare minimum for me. I'm okay with this. This is not bad, um, really nice as we start to get up top actually. So I think that 30 to 60% needs to be beefed up a little bit, but once you get above 60%, it's not terrible, is it? 66% doing 53 kilowatts on a smaller battery pack. I don't think that's the end of the world. We've added 40 kilowatt hours in 27 minutes. It's absolutely shredding. I did hear at this point sort of the AC compressor and the fan cycling on and off. That's why you'll see such a huge disparity in the charging current. The car is pretty much just saying, probably give me 110 amps and then the rest will go to the cooling uh, system and uh, that's what's gonna run it. Now we've just been pegged at 50 kilowatts for a while. So it does this really fat peak, then it you know comes down hard, but then it just kind of sits there. So you know if you're going to be road tripping this car, you may want to charge up to 50, 60 percent, and then off to the next one. Pretty much just enough range to get to your next charger is going to be the best possible scenario here. But I think this is a perfect battery pack. 80% is achieved in 36 minutes, which is a very good statistic. That's a very quick time for uh, for a zero to 80% on a 
400 volt EV. Really, the only thing I can think that that beats that by a lot are the, the higher voltage pack cars. We're gonna be testing Hyundai Ionic 5 here pretty soon. I'm very excited to see how that car charges. I have not seen a charging curve yet. Now above 80%, we're in the 30 kilowatt range. I would definitely leave and head to the next charger by this point. Yeah, but pack voltage, look at this, 450 volts. This is great. One of the reasons I love a very high pack voltage, especially in the 400 volt class of cars, is if you pull up to an older 100, you know, or I should say 50 kilowatt station, some of them are branded as 50 kilowatts. However, they are just amperage limitation. So some will do 100 amps, some will do 120, some will do 125 amp. So there's a 25% disparity here. But the nice thing is if you have a really high pack voltage, you can get the most amount of power out of the car because the chargers can match the pack. They're just amperage limited. They're current limited chargers. And therefore, if you have higher voltage, you get more power. Um, here we are 90 plus percent doing in the 20 kilowatt range. It's actually not really that bad up top. I expected this to fall on its face. A lot of cars are under 10 kilowatts by the time we get above 95%, but this must have a pretty big top buffer because look, it's still doing 23, 24 kilowatts. We're nearing an hour into this charging session and just like ID4, um, again, you would expect it's probably the same charging curve, just sort of limited down for the smaller pack size. It's about an hour zero to full is what we're, we're projecting here. And that I think is just the gold standard for an EV. No one's in, ever gonna do a zero to 100% charge in the real world. This is a way for us to log the curve to see any anomalies with the car, any overheating issues. But overall, an hour, we're at 99%, still doing 17 kilowatts. This is fantastic. And then of course you can calculate your 10 to 80% time. There we go, one hour, one minute, 27 seconds, 60.23 kilowatt hours added. Now keep in mind this battery pack is probably 56, 57 kilowatt hours usable, but there's always losses whenever we DC charge, especially at high current levels. Um, keep in mind this is also charging power delivered to the car so there's always going to be uh air conditioning pumps to cool the glycol to keep the battery system at a reasonable temperature etc 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 we try and turn off every single possible load that we can we turn off all of the you know air conditioning heated seats lights all this stuff so anyway thanks so much for watching another out of spec reviews video thanks for tuning in for another dc fast charging test from zero to 100 percent i hope you enjoy these i love doing them i you know i think I think it's so important that we log the curves of these EVs. The curve is more important than the peak rate, in my opinion. And I know some of you in the audience has actually been plotting this out on a chart. I would love to do this for you. I don't really have the time, but my colleague Mark Kane on our sister channel, Inside EVs US, not really sister channel, partner channel, I guess I should say, um, Mark plots all this stuff. And so if you go to Inside EVs for every charging test that we do, um, he really does, you know, time calculations, 10 to 80, all the stuff everyone's asking for, makes it onto Inside EVs just usually a few days after the video is posted. So thanks for bearing with us. Thanks for watching another video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.